You need to trust yourself. You need to be confident in yourself. I gave the example this morning, I give the same thing to you. If you've never done it, Google Tiger Woods and Kobe Bryant's day-long schedule. Their, their schedule of their day. Okay, I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Uh, Kobe had a teammate who Kobe said, you're not working out enough. I work out every morning. So the guy goes to the gym at 6.30, and Kobe's coming out of the gym. He'd been there since 5. Tiger Woods wakes up every morning, runs 10 miles, works out, has a light breakfast, hits golf balls for three hours, has a light lunch, works out, plays nine holes, runs 10 miles, and then spends time with his family. Every day, seven days a week. That's how you trust yourself. That's how you trust yourself. And you have to trust your labor. If you don't trust people, you're not successful. If you don't trust yourself, you're not successful. We talked about ethics, doing the right thing when nobody's looking, but a big part of ethics is trust. Now, a different concept altogether is design. Okay? You can design something tactile. T-A-C-T-I-L-E is a word that means something that you can touch. So somebody designed this, this marker. Somebody designed this, these seats. And they sat down with, with paper and, and computer on, on a, it's called a CAD program, and they drew these red seats, and they drew these screens in front of the uh, desk, and they designed this room to put as many seats in here as they could. The wooden seats, we had 72. In here, they're more than 90 because it's better designed. And design is part of business. Well, you can design something that is not tactile. Kobe and Tiger designed a schedule. And when you design something that is not tactile, you are creating something. And when you create anything, it is, a, it is part of design. Now, I, I think I have told you my Airbnb story. I'll tell it to you again. Uh, when my daughter was 16 uh, or 15, she went to a church camp. She was a really good basketball player, played at Valdosta State. And she was shooting hoops outside on an outdoor court by herself. Young man comes up, says, can I shoot with you? Because he liked basketball. So they start shooting, and all, all week at camp, they would shoot basketball, and they had this teenage love affair, and they fall in love. He lived in Atlanta. We lived in Augusta. He goes to school at the Rhode Island School of Design, which is the number one art school in the country. It's called RISD. And it's not only art, but it's also design. Uh, designing... Uh, the rack to hold that TV up, designing these, these tables. Uh, Catherine went to Valdosta State, uh, and she got accepted to Brown University, which is across the street from RISD, but we couldn't afford to send her. And their love affair breaks up because it's hard to have a long-distance love affair at any age, but particularly at 17 or 18. That guy graduates from RISD, Moves to San Francisco, uh, he and his roommate rent, there's not, not enough hotel rooms, they rent out to air mattresses in their apartment for $80 during a convention, and that was the start of Airbnb. And my daughter's former boyfriend is worth $10 billion, right? And he's 36 years old, 37 years old. His name is Joe Gebbia. And Joe Gebbia has eaten many a meal in my house. Uh, he is a great guy. Uh, he's never married. Sends my daughter birthday cards and Christmas cards every year. I love my son-in-law, but Joe Gebbia would have been a good son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Gebbia is famous for being an artist that started a, a business. Most artists simply paint. 
but Joe Gebbia had this idea that he could take his creative mind and design a business. He could design a business, just like you could design a chair or a table. And that's what, that's what we're going to watch today.